Hello guys, welcome back to another Laravel code hub tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over the functionality of deleting a post. So let's go ahead and get started to try to keep in this tutorial as short as possible. So first thing we need to do is we need to go into our database migrations and open our replies migration. And we need to add one additional thing here. At the end here, as you can see for the foreign keys, user ID and user post ID, we need to add an additional parameter here called on the lead cascade for both of them and what that does is since these are foreign keys and are the parents of this particular um, um, replies so what we want to do is let's say somebody deletes a post we also want to delete all the replies associated with this post the reason for that is because this key won't exist and it will give you errors if you don't delete the replies associated with the post itself as we won't be able to link them okay so once you do add that on on the lead cascade next thing you need to do is just mm, go ahead and navigate to your code hub folder and run the run the command here uh, we want to roll back and then once you run that command go ahead and run the php artisan migrate and once you've done all that you will have it up and running okay so next thing I'm, we need to do here is we want to display a delete button down here at the bottom right corner so i will go ahead and do that and what I will do is I will go into our replies page here and I will copy this form if you remember we created a form for leaving a reply so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this form from here I'm gonna paste it inside here obviously we have to remove quite a few things from here as we do not need we do not need a text area first of all so we're gonna get rid of this um, instead of a slug what I'm gonna pass back is a post ID instead of a post slug here I'm gonna update this to post ID so I'm gonna pass back the ID of the post that I want to be deleted next thing we need to define a route so I'm gonna call this delete question we're gonna create this route but that, that route doesn't exist yet and the ID here I will give it delete question ID delete question form sorry and then I'm going to type a method and I'm going to say this is going to be a delete method and I'm going to give it a class of text right so I can align it to the right. What does this method mean? So what Laravel does, since there are only two types of requests, a get and a post request, in this case Laravel creates a hidden uh, input called um, method and it will give it a value of delete and what it does is I can define a controller a route a delete route and what that does is it can distinguish to which route to go and, and a delete request is just a, a get request but by using this hidden input we're able to distinguish and we can have multiple get requests with the same name which makes it a little bit more readable okay so now that we've done all this with the button here I'm gonna update the text and I'm gonna call this delete and I'm gonna go here into the browser and I have this bootstrap uh, site open and in here I'm gonna copy this button btn danger the class because I want to make our delete button red and this color like the danger button here and I will paste this URL in the in the to, in the video description so you guys can click on it and if you want to see this uh, by yourself or you can choose different colors and so on or classes so I'm gonna go here and update this class with btn btn danger and the type will be submit so I'm gonna go ahead and save this and go back to our site here but before we're able to do this we will, we will get an error so since this route does not exist yet I'm gonna go ahead and define that route so I'm gonna go to routes and under here I'm gonna copy this route post route and what I'm gonna do is under here I'm gonna paste it but instead of a post this could be a delete and I will keep the same name post here and this will be able to distinguish due to that hidden input that Laravel creates which calls it a delete method and you will and you will know instead of going to this post here it will go to this one and instead of post question here I'm gonna say this delete question and same thing here I will need to create a method called delete question in our controller so I'm gonna copy this save it save the routes open our forms controller here we need to define this new function so public function delete question request and then the request itself 
and I'm gonna do a die and dump here for the and I'm gonna say made it save that okay and now let's go ahead and reload this page so as you can see here we're able to see the delete buttons for all users so this belongs to John this belongs to Bob and when I even logged in so what we want to do is the delete button should only appear if the user is logged in and it should only appear to the post that belongs to that particular user so to handle that I'm gonna go back to our here into our home and I'm gonna put a conditional here so I'm gonna say if current user and this is a variable that is being passed from view to view and what it does it holds the ob the current user object so what this says is okay if we do have a user object basically if the user is logged in it's saying and and I'm gonna say end current user ID equals post ID and what does this check do it basically is telling me if the user is logged in and this user's ID equals the post sorry it needs to be user ID here not ID so basically what it's saying is the user must be logged in and the user must be the owner of this post then only we want to show this delete button so they be able so they will be able to request to delete this particular post only if it belongs to them and I'm gonna indent this here so it looks a little nicer and now we shouldn't be able to see any delete buttons because they're not logged in so let me log in as John Smith and go back so as you see here I do see a delete button for John Smith and these are not his posts so it doesn't I don't see a delete button and here I also see this is his post so I do see a delete button as well so now let me click on this delete button and we should hit this controller here delete question so once we click that we do see made it now what we want to do is when we actually do go into this controller here what we want to do is find the post make sure that the post does belong to the user and if it does then go ahead and delete the post and return back to that page okay so I'm gonna go ahead up here copy this try and catch block I'm gonna get rid of this die and dump okay so inside of our post here what we want to do is I'm gonna get rid of this uh, where thing where close and instead of I'm gonna say post and I'm gonna say find or fail I'm gonna explain in a minute what that means so find the fail means basically if you since we are passing a hidden input and that input holds the post ID in this case we can use this find or fail predefined Laravel function and what it does it looks for if you need to pass it in an, an ID which is the primary key on that particular table and in the post table is the post ID and in this case we are passing in the post ID with our delete request so what we, this function takes that ID and it can find the post and if it doesn't find the post without that matches this ID then it just throws an exception and the exception it throws is the model not found exception and in that case if it does throw that exception what we will do is we will catch it and redirect the user back to the home page but we need to pass it the ID here so I'm gonna do request and I'm gonna pass in the post ID okay so let's say we do find this uh, post ID right what we want to do is we want to do a check here so in the check I'm gonna do auth so I'm gonna say auth user so I'm gonna say take the authenticated user and I'm gonna do the same check that if you guys remember right here we're checking if the user is the owner of the post and the reason I'm, I'm gonna do the same check at the back end is because let's say if somebody goes here and let's say this is my post and I'm able I'm gonna go ahead and inspect this post as you can see here we have a hidden input of method delete and a hidden input of the post ID if I change this post value right and I put let's say 20 there there's a chance that that post could exist in our database but it might not belong to this user John Smith so if I do submit a request and I don't check if the user who submitted the request owns the post I could be deleting somebody else's post so I need to check that in the back end to make sure that nobody um, okay. I'm not deleting anybody else's post so once I do that uh, and I did check this next thing I need to do is simple so the next thing is I need to do is I'm gonna say take the post object so uh, up here as you can see we did find the post itself so we do have the post and what I want to do here is 
if the user, this is he's the owner, and he tells me to, to delete the post, all I need to do is just call this delete function, and Laravel handles deleting that, that, per, that particular post from the database. So what I need to do here is, once I delete that and that was successful, I'm just gonna simply redirect, redirect, and I'm gonna redirect back to the page that we came from. It's that simple. Okay, so now that we have all the logic done, uh, let's go ahead and test this very fast to make sure that it does work indeed. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh this and if I click delete here What it should do is find the post make sure that the person that's submitting the request Is the owner of the post and if he indeed is the owner It should delete the post and take me back. So let me delete this one So I was able to delete that post and come back, right? and If I go here uh, and I delete this one. And this one has two comments as well. So if I delete this post, the comments would be deleted with it as well. So I'm not gonna delete this one. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and log in as a different user, just so I can show you. I'm gonna log in as Bob here. So as you can see here, the delete button doesn't show for John, but it shows for Bob now. And I'm gonna delete in this one, help me, C++, and this one has three comments. If I delete this particular post, the comments uh, would be deleted along with it. So let me go ahead and delete this. As you can see, that post was deleted and all the comments deleted along with it. Okay, guys, so that was it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Um, and in the next tutorial, what we will do is we're going to be using this JS plugin. Um, what And what that will do is basically when we delete this, and since we're not really giving it much feedback to the user here, we are deleting this and the user is able to see that the post has been deleted. This is not present and even if they refresh the page, the post doesn't come back. But what we want to do is instead of just redirecting back, we will want to show the user a message. So this um, plugin we will be using, it will just do, uh, it will create a pop-up and with a message that you want to display. That way we will be giving the user a better feedback um, in our um, forum. Okay, so thank you for watching guys and stick around for the next tutorial.